Here's another example. Here we're going to find multiple solutions because we're in a quadratic form. So we want to solve algebraically this expression cosine squared theta plus sine theta plus 1 equals 0. First of all, we need to notice that we're using the variable theta, which means our answers should be in degrees. The issue here is that I have two trig functions, cosine and sine. So when I ultimately solve for theta, I'd have to apply both an arc cosine and an arc sine. So we need to get around that issue first. And the way we're going to do that is to apply a Pythagorean identity. I'm going to replace the cosine squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta. And then complete the equation, plus sine theta plus 1 equals 0. Now I'm going to simplify, and I'll get negative sine squared theta plus sine theta plus 2 equals 0. Now here, I want to recognize the fact that I actually have a form of a quadratic equation, something squared plus something plus 2, which means that I should be able to find solutions either with the quadratic formula or by factoring. Fortunately, this is a simple enough equation and can be factored to negative sine theta plus 2 times sine theta plus 1 equals 0. So now I can see I have two sets of solutions, either negative sine theta plus 2 equals 0, or sine theta plus 1 equals 0. Over here on the left we see that this expression implies that sine theta equals 2. On the right we see that sine theta equals negative 1. Now we know that the graph of the sine of theta only reaches from negative 1 to 1, the range. So sine theta will never be equal to 2. So for the sine of theta equals negative 1, we will apply the arc sine technique. If the sine of theta equals negative 1, then theta equals the arc sine of negative 1. We take that one step further and we let theta equal the inverse sine of negative 1 plus 360n or theta equals 180 minus the inverse sine of negative 1 plus 360n. There's that supplementary relationship between our two initial sine solutions. The inverse sine of negative 1. Let's see what our calculator says. and we get negative 90 degrees. So, we can come back here and say negative 90 plus 360n for solutions, or 180 minus a negative 90 plus 360n. We go back to our original expression and we notice that there are no domain restrictions, so these formulas should be sufficient. We can take this one step further. 
180 minus negative 90 is 270 plus 360n. And we can notice that negative 90 and 270 are coterminal angles. So our solutions, sine of theta equals 2 gives us an empty set. But when the sine of theta equals negative 1, we can say negative 90 plus 360n or 180 minus negative 90 plus 360n. But we can also recognize that those two solutions are describing the same angle or coterminal angles. Here's a final example where our equation has conditions that make it impossible to apply any of the arc functions to obtain a solution. We have the equation 0.2x plus sine x equals 2. And we can see that if we tried to solve for x, we'd have to take the arc sign. But while we're taking the arc sign, we would be applying it to x and removing it from another x. So in this case, an algebraic solution becomes impossible. When that happens, we resort to technology. And we plug the equation into our calculator. Here's the point 2x plus sine x. And in y2, I'm going to put 2. If I graph this, I can see that my sine x function is rising because of the linear term added to it. And then the line at y equals 2 crosses in three distinct places. To find those values, I'll use the second trace calc menu to find the intersections, number 5. My first intersection here to the left. I need to be to the left of the intersection for my left first curve. And then to the right of the intersection on the line. And for my guess, I hit enter. So my first answer is 6.941. Now let's find the second answer. Go back to second trace, option 5. And now I'm going to move closer to the second intersection, but stay to the left on the curve. Now move to the right of the intersection. Hit enter, and my sec solution is 9.280. There it is. And our third solution, we'll see. Second trace, option 5. To the left. right, and I guess, and my final solution is 12.127, and there we have it.